rebel. Oh yeah, I was. Unlike other kids, when I took birth, I denied crying. Yeah, I did. I said probably after an hour, because most of the kids cry for an hour when they take birth in the world. <laughs> and why I'm talking about being rebel? I'm talking about being rebel to connect it to the purpose of the day today. I am going to talk about your soft skills and for me, the hard skills to learn in life to help you improve your career. Not to derail it, but to bring it on the track at the same time to debunk some of the myths about soft skills that is being fed in your mind for a long, long, long time. The very first one is time management. Time management. Well, you're amazing. You can manage the time. Time doesn't manage you. You manage the time. Quite ironical. Let me tell you what happened on the other day when a guy walks up to me and asked me that, you know, recently I have been promoted to a managerial position and I have to learn time management. And you know what my answer was? Bullshit. There isn't anything like time management. It is mind management. It is priority management. I really love the quote of Buddha where he said, each morning we are born again. What we do today, what matters the most. If you just remember this one small, you know, the quote, here's the thing. You don't have to really see everything as a philosophical quote. You gotta understand what is in it for me. So it is about mind management. I have ample of time to do the things that I want to do in my life. Well, I'm not unemployed, but I do have time. You know how? Because I understand mind management. So if you want to learn a soft skill in a hard way, learn it the way people have been teaching you around the world. But if you want to make it really, really soft and subtle, learn mind management. It's a practice. It's a habit. It has nothing to do with a pen, paper and writing some of the bullet point how to manage one's time. You are smart enough. You're born with those, you know, skills to improve your life. You just need to understand how. A very softly asked soft skill, anger management. Well, I unintentionally, well intentionally, asked this question to one of the most prominent interpersonal skills trainers in the country that you must not be getting angry because you train people for anger management. Person said, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't. I said, so nothing makes you angry. Person said, um, no, because it's been a long time. I'm mature enough and this and that, etc., etc." Then asked, I asked again, probably multiple times. Person said, don't you get it? I said, I don't get angry anymore. I said, I get it. I get it. I get it. Now I got it. So what I say that it's not about managing your anger. You cannot manage. If you get angry, you cannot really manage your anger. You can channelize it. And that's a process that you learn over time. So I cut the crap. I say, learn to develop more patience. Learn to develop, you know, the, the, the time when nothing really hurts you. Make yourself so confident, so, I mean, so full of self-esteem that nothing really hurts you. And become amazing communicator that you know how to deal with it. So it's not about managing your anger. It's about learning over time with patience to channelize it for better productivity of your life. And the third and the most argumentative soft skill that I'm asked by the students, well, not just by the students who are going to get their foot into doors of corporate, but by the people who are already doing professionally fine. They wish to learn and master the art of negotiation. They say, you know, you see, I'm still at the position where I was a few years ago. If my negotiation skill was better and if it goes better, I might negotiate a better deal with other companies. And I say, well, it's not about negotiation skill. It's not about the ability what you learn in a piece of paper in the form of few bullet points. It's about ability to sell your words plus your work. If you know how to sell your work, the previous experience, the experience what you hold in your sleep, the experience that made you who you are today, plus amazing communication skills. You don't need to learn the skill on the piece of paper in the form of some bullet points. It's about just one word. 
sell. Sell your words beautifully and learn to master that eventually. And if you want to learn that, we have so many videos, in fact, on our Pep Talk India's YouTube channel about selling skills. Do go and watch them. You see, if you're able to sell your words, you're able to maneuver the talk, you're able to convince anyone on this planet. I truly believe in the statement, words actually have power to change the world. So why not your employer? Why not next company and next to next company? You can do it all the time. It isn't a big deal. You see what I just said, I changed negotiation to ability to sell your words. I said it's not about anger management, it is about patience development. I said it's not about time management, it is about mind management. So you student of Peptoc India are lucky to have the technicality, well, yes, technicality that you do not learn in books and that unfortunately or fortunately you don't get it outside by most of the people. So if you truly believe that it is about what we just talked, go and teach the world outside that it's not about time management, it is about mind management. And I'm sure you're equipped enough now to tell the world it's not about 60 different soft skills that you ought to learn to master your professionalism, but it is about those few amazing skills those skills what are of course virtual in nature but that can change not just your career but your life.